Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Explosive Secrets in Salem, Sarah's Hidden Agenda, EJ's Lawsuit, and Xander's Dangerous Plot Unfold. Get ready for another wild week in days of our lives as Sarah's secret motives come to light, leaving fans questioning her true intentions. Meanwhile, EJ's lawsuit is heating up, but Xander's fury toward Eric is what really sets off fireworks. Tate catches Holly snooping around his father's room, just as Xander's sinister plan for Brady is set in motion. Adding fuel to the fire, Fiona and Sophia finally meet, will they team up for a devious plot? With Marlena's ominous warning hanging over Salem, the drama is just beginning. You can't miss this. Week 30 of Days of Our Lives, EJ's Lawsuit, Eric's Hidden Intents, Xander's Attack, and Marlena's Admonition. The week of September 30th to October 4th spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that Johnny DiMera will make amends with Chanel DiMera after a major outcry about Alex Kiriakis and her husband's behind-the-scenes meddling. Jada Hunter should give Stephanie Johnson some wise counsel as she opens up to her about her changing relationship with Alex. And speaking of advice, Brady Black ought to receive some from Marlena Evans as well. According to previews for days, Brady will be questioned by Marlena about his genuine feelings for Kristen DiMera, and she might advise against taking that turn again. Abe Carver will update Kate Roberts Brady on Hattie Adams's threat to quit body and soul in the event that Bonnie Kiriakis isn't fired. There isn't much time left before body and soul's first tape day, so Kate and Abe will need to come up with a solution. When production starts, Leo Stark will have to work quickly to finish any scripts that need to be finished. Day's spoilers indicate that Sophia Choi and Holly Jonas will square off over Tate Black across town. Eric Brady will also put pressure on Holly to visit Nicole Walker in Paris and attempt to mend fences. Maggie Kiriakis will next speak with Xander Kiriakis and ask him to give up his ongoing attempts at retaliation against Brady. Fiona Cook will confront Sarah Kiriakis about her dishonesty. Fiona might discover Sarah is speaking for her after Sarah confides in her about what she remembers of the accident and ask why. Sarah may argue that she is shielding Xander from the knowledge that his wife's paralysis was caused by his own mother, arguing that if he knew, his heart would shatter into a million pieces. He'll carry on getting even with individuals who don't deserve it now that he's back with Xander. Fans of Days of Our Lives may expect some hot moments as Eric will be the target of Xander's rage. Ray Hernandez, on the other hand, will likely console Gabby Hernandez de Mera for her breakup with Stefan de Mera and advise her against pursuing a relationship with EJ de Mera. Stefan and EJ will continue to have a falling out, especially if EJ decides to sue his brother for defamation. According to spoilers for other days, Kristen DiMera is about to get an exciting opportunity. Kristen is going to get some lucky breaks, so we'll see if she can take use of this to get back together with Brady. Mark Green will assist Abigail DiMera in other places as she plots and works to get close to Chad DiMera as quickly as possible. When it comes to remembering and convincing Chad to be married, Abigail needs to move quickly but our forecasts indicate that there will soon be more hazards involved. According to teasers, the week of September 30th to October 4th on Days of Our Lives will have both highs and lows. Be sure to check in for all the shocking revelations and intense confrontations. Actors spill tea in Days of Our Lives, Xander rages at Fiona. The cast of Days of Our Lives anticipates that Xander Cook is going to suffer the greatest blow of his life. He has no idea that Fiona Cook, his mother, is the true cause of Sarah Horton's paralysis while he schemes to kill Brady Black. Xander's world is about to fall apart as the truth comes crashing down. In interviews, actors reveal hints. The cast of Days of Our Lives recently gave interviews in which they hinted at upcoming developments and how Xander Cook would exact revenge on Fiona Cook for her transgressions. This week, not realizing that Fiona is letting her bedfellow get away with it, 
Xander devises a dark scheme to punish Brady Black. Ironically, Fiona makes an effort to defend Brady on her own terms. Fiona hurried to stop her son when she saw that Xander had used the piñata bat to hit Brady. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Brady was prepared to take the severe beating since he was so overcome with guilt about Sarah Horton's condition. Fiona stunned her son by revealing that she had slept with Brady, which was enough to stop Xander. Xander is still determined to get revenge despite this setback. After catching up with his brother, Eric Brady begins to communicate with him. In an interview with Michael Fairman, actor Eric Martzolf said, Eric gets Brady to realize there's more to this. Then he begins to wonder if I might not have done this to Sarah, and that sets him on the path to disclosing the truth. Xander purchases a knockout drug and an untraceable gun while Brady works to solve the mystery. Brady is begging Xander to leave him alone, but he won't listen to Sarah. In Xander's scheme, Brady will be drugged and his death will be pretended to be a suicide. But Jada Hunter's unannounced visit thwarts his plan, leaving Brady conscious but disoriented. Horton, Sarah tries hypnosis. Fans of Days of Our Lives witness Sarah being hypnotized by Marlena Evans in order to regain her memory of the accident. Paul Telfer provided thoughts on the thinking of his character. Xander would prefer to be upset than depressed. When he encounters things that are gloomy or upsetting, he looks for something to aggravate him so he may concentrate on it and then attempt to smash it. Brady is the target of his current attacks. Lindsay Godfrey talked about the difficulties her character encounters. Because Xander let down his defenses and now genuinely loves Fiona, it's difficult. Xander is allowing her to be his mother, she remarked, emphasizing the boyish side of Xander's personality. Xander's changes in anger. When the truth is revealed, Xander's fury on Days of Our Lives will switch from Brady to his mother. Laughing that Xander couldn't bash his mom with a baseball bat like he tried to do to Brady, Paul Telfer praised Telfer's performance, calling it his greatest to date, according to Lindsay Godfrey. Days of Our Lives character Serena Scott Thomas stated that Fiona detests what she has done. Sarah sees Fiona as a panicked and selfish person, but not a bad person, just a person who did a bad thing, Lindsay Godfrey continued. Tate finds Holly looking through his father's room, while Xander starts working on his Brady plan. Today on Days of Our Lives, Brady tells Eric everything about Fiona, Fiona tells Maggie the same thing, and Sophia tries to cheer up Tate. EJ is on the phone with Harold in the hospital, informing him that Gabby is doing well. Holly arrives after learning about the explosion, is happy to see EJ is okay, and gives him a hug. EJ senses her anxiety and believes she has forgiven him. Even though she's still not over him lying about Jude's paternity, she says she wouldn't go that far and doesn't want to see him destroyed. EJ is aware of how horrible what he did was and how frantic he was to keep his marriage intact. She understands that desperation can lead to foolish actions. He describes her as sympathetic and compassionate. When she found out the truth about Eric, she said it meant a lot to her because he was there for her. Subsequently, she turns to face Brady and queries his plans regarding his injury to her Aunt Sarah. Brady confessed, but EJ informs her there wasn't enough evidence to charge him. He understands her anger, but he questions whether she wants Eric to suffer for what he did to Daniel or whether she wants justice for Sarah. She acknowledges that it's possible she's venting part of her resentment on Tate's father. She claims that Brady will now be able to walk after Eric received a smack on the wrist. EJ assures her that if any proof surfaces, he will hold Brady responsible. She offers to assist however she can. She claims that since Eric is having the nicest time with her mother, Brady has to pay. EJ concurs with her. EJ advises Holly to take care and that she needs to get going. Following Holly's departure, EJ contacts the station and threatens to suggest some leadership changes to Mayor Price unless Commissioner Hunter finds proof linking Brady to Sarah's hit and run. 
Tate calls Holly from home without a shirt on and leaves a message. He knows she's upset that EJ hasn't charged his dad for Sarah's hit and run, and this is his third message to her. He was hoping they might have a conversation. A knock on the door, and it's Sophia, surprising him with dinner. After Tate puts on a shirt, they take a seat. His favorite appetizer, the barbecue sliders she brought, are devoured by him. She wanted to drop by and give him some tender loving care and comfort food. Placing her palm on his leg, she inquires as to if Holly is still keeping him cold. He claims that she is, and that she believes that his uncle Eric has abandoned her, and that his father has now nearly killed her Aunt Sarah. Sophia claims that Holly is also avoiding her, and she finds the situation to be rather distressing. She claims that in addition to Holly, she also feels bad for him. She claims that she would never turn him down if she had a guy as wonderful as him. She deems him a wonderful catch and praises his appearance and intelligence. As they look into each other's eyes, there is a knock at the door. Tate separates to answer it and sees that it is Holly. When Holly notices Sophia there, she is obviously disturbed. Sophia comments that since they were just chatting about her, Holly's ears must be burning. Holly shoves Sophia out the door because she needs to return to her work. Tate insists that's not how she sees things. Holly claims she is not in this place to discuss Sophia. She wanted to hang out and spend time with him like they used to, and she wanted to apologize to him for ignoring him. Tate replies he's missed her and that he would appreciate that. They give hugs. She suddenly gets upset and requests to use his bathroom to get cleaned up. Naturally, he informs her, and she proceeds towards it. After Holly starts poking around, she discovers Brady's chamber. Glancing around, she finds Brady's briefcase and attempts to pry it open. She is caught by Tate, who queries her actions. Eric asks Brady how he's doing when he bumps into him at the Brady pub. Brady was checking on Ava, who was attacked by a mad individual, and is doing the best he can. Eric was unaware that he was friends with Ava. He claims that although they weren't, they were the night he fell off the wagon. He acknowledges that they spend a lot of money together, and although she attempted to persuade him out of it, he was determined to ruin his life. Sarah might not be in a wheelchair if he had listened to her and allowed her to talk him out of drinking. Eric tells Brady as they sit down that he must stop blaming himself for what happened to Sarah. Brady claims he crippled her, but Eric counters that Sarah would find a happy life and that he was mistaken. Eric advises him to follow suit. Brady queries how he is expected to have a happy life given that he destroyed someone else's. Xander won't let this go even if he might not have to pay in court. He describes to him how Fiona prevented Xander from beating him nearly with a bat. Brady is informed by Eric that Xander lacks the authority to enforce the law on his own. Even though Eric acknowledges his error, Xander still has no right to pursue him. Eric believes Fiona intervened on Xander's behalf to keep him out of jail. Brady acknowledges he slept with Fiona and speculates that she might not have wanted to see him suffer harm. Though Eric claims to try his hardest not to pass judgment, what was he thinking? Brady clarifies that he wasn't, that he didn't know Fiona was Xander's mother, and that he was just having fun. He says, it's over, and shifts the conversation to Holly. Eric claims that his kid informed Holly of Daniel's passing before he was able to inform her. Eric claims Tate believed she was already aware. Brady wants to know how Holly is handling it. Eric claims that Nicole and he have deceived her. Brady says Holly will come around, she just needs some time to take it all in. Brady leaves because he has to get to an AA meeting. Later, Eric is on his laptop when EJ arrives and insults him for squandering his father's free Wi-Fi. What does he want, Eric asks. As he sits down, EJ questions his lack of happiness. 
He believes Holly despises Brady because of the way he crippled Sarah and how he is now experiencing the guilt of his act. Holly is hurt, Eric realizes, but she will heal. Holly will never trust any of them again, according to EJ, because she now knows how much of a liar her mother is and that he is the drinker who killed her father. He's relieved that she can rely on him. Sarah is carried to bed by Xander in the Kiriaki's house. She reminds him that she has to practice getting herself from the chair to the bed. He says it was a romantic gesture. She asks him to swear not to pursue Brady once again if he wants to help her. He screams that Brady is walking free because there is no justice. She acknowledges his obsession with retribution, but asserts that they should be concentrating on moving on and giving their young daughter their whole attention instead. She informs him that since seeking justice would just make her anxious, she doesn't want him to pursue it. Her priorities need to be taking care of her daughter and getting around without her legs. For their sake and Victoria's, she asks Xander to go on and forgive. He promises that he will go to any lengths to support her in being there for Victoria, but he will never forgive Brady. Xander interrupts them with a text message, saying he has some Titan business to attend to. She's suspicious since the last time he left on Titan business, he used a bat to attack Brady. He gives her some weights to build on her upper body strength while he's away and swears he won't pursue Brady. He kisses her and tells her he won't be gone for long. Maggie and Fiona spend the evening at the bistro. Maggie is told by Fiona that she must allow people to assist her and take some time for herself. Maggie claims that Xander has been a huge assistance in looking after Sarah. Fiona explains that she wanted to tell her why Xander is not happy with her during this meal. Fiona acknowledges having slept with Brady. The man who left Maggie's daughter disabled was her partner in bed. Maggie expresses surprise and notes that Brady is Xander's nephew and Victor's grandchild. Fiona acknowledges that neither she nor Brady were aware of the familial tie. They were both lonely, she claims, but Brady was drinking at the time and she didn't realize he shouldn't be. She tells Maggie that it's over and that he cannot get away with what he did to Sarah. She claims that aside from being a kind stranger with good looks, she didn't know anything about Brady. Why is she telling her now, Maggie wonders. Since Fiona had just recently won Xander's favor again, she didn't want their relationship to be ruined by this affair. Maggie queries Xander's knowledge. According to Fiona, he does, and although he was angry, the truth kept him from using a baseball bat to hit Brady. Fiona stopping Xander is a relief to Maggie since Sarah needs him by her side, not in jail. Additionally, she doesn't want Brady to suffer because he is family and has overcome many obstacles in his life, including alcoholism. He's a kind, respectable man when sober, but she can't look at him right now. Maggie doesn't want them to hold any secrets because she thinks of Fiona as a friend and is delighted that they had this conversation. Fiona concurs. Maggie needs to get moving so she can bring Sarah her preferred dessert. Fiona makes the decision to stay behind and indulge in her preferred dessert. Maggie assures her that she doesn't think any less of her, which she hopes. Before Maggie leaves, they exchange hugs. After returning to work, Sophia looks after Fiona. Would Fiona like anything else, she asks. Says Fiona, she would. She requests a dry martini and cheesecake. She takes a swig from the martini as the cheesecake and drink arrive. In the park, Xander meets a dubious-looking man who hands him an untraceable weapon. In addition, the man says Xander won't know what hit him and understands what Xander needs him to do. Brady is approached by the untrustworthy man in Horton Square. Brady tries to step by, but he gets in the way. Maggie comes home and brings Sarah some tiramisu, but she isn't in her room. Since it's late, she wonders where Sarah is. Sarah confronts Xander in the park. 
After asking Henderson to turn the van around for her, she trailed behind him. She is adamant about finding out his true intentions. Brady gets drugged next on Days of Our Lives, and EJ and Eric argue. Preview, Fiona and Sophia meet, but will they plot on Days of Our Lives? Villains band together. Spoilers for the September 26, 2024 episode of Days of Our Lives hint that one Salem villain will be meeting another's acquaintance. Scenes in Salem Salem is down to just two cunning women, who will soon cross paths as Clyde is still incarcerated and Connie was taken to Bayview. Sophia appears to be working her shift at the bistro when she sees Fiona enjoying a beverage. What topic will the two discuss throughout their meal, and will Brady and Tate be mentioned? The upcoming week's spoilers hint that Tate will find Holly spying on his father to find proof of the hit and run, and that Brady will be drugged. It promises to be a dramatic day in Salem. How Sophia and Fiona fit into it all will only become clear with time. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.